What's up everybody? Hope you're having a great morning and today I want to talk to you about my arch nemesis the fruit fly and since we just got done with a total war on these guys we all know how annoying they can be and if you've had these little guys arrive in your house they're almost impossible to get rid of if you don't know what you're doing. So in this video I'm going to talk about everything I know about getting rid of these little fruit flies and what you need to do to just end the problem. And if you stick to the end, I'm gonna tell you a, a quick solution that I kinda figured out to narrow them down pretty fast. And let's get to it. Let's talk about it so you can get rid of them too because they can be really annoying. All right, so if you've never seen my channel before, my name is Jack the Yak Motley. I do a lot of all kinds of weird stuff, vlog my life, just try to have fun on camera and share my knowledge with you guys. So me and Samantha, we just had an infestation of the fruit fly. We've kind of gotten them all gone now. It has been about a five day event. If you watched my video from years ago, I, I kind of talked about some of the solutions. I'll link it down below in the description box if you want to watch that video. The fruit fly really kind of comes in from fruit or any type of fermenting uh, plants, fruits, things like that, and they, they have like a cycle of life to them. So the first thing you really got to do to solve the problem is go through your house and find the source of the problem. And then, you know, once you get the source narrowed down, then you can try to break their cycle. So usually if you have fruit on the table, like we usually have fruit on the table, they could be in one of the, the fruit or all of them that might have a rotten spot or anything like that. Go check your pantry for any like rotten potatoes or apples or anything that may be open that could be allowing them to hatch because they're just in the fruit and they hatch and they go into the air. They won't bite you, but they are incredibly annoying because they just land on you and they buzz by and they get on your wine or they get on your cups and they get in your pantry and they look, you know, just looks bad when people come over and you got these flies everywhere. So get rid of any trash. So take your trash out, throw it away every night, uh, and get rid of any water in your sink, any, uh, bat, uh, any dishes that haven't been done. And then you might want to put some vinegar down your sink because they can hide in the pea trap and just keep, you know, doing their thing. So once you got the source down, you got to set up your traps. So what I like to do, and there's a few different ways to trap them, but I'm going to break this down the best I can. And so what I like to build is a trap like this. And basically what you're going to do is you're going to use apple cider vinegar. You're going to, some people put dish soap in it, uh, just a, a, th a little bit of dish soap because it kind of makes the gnat sink. But you're going to create a trap just like this. This is just cellophane or uh, saran wrap that you put over any type of cup. The cup is, uh, I like to use a wider cup because it makes a bigger surface for them to go into. Um, and then you want to take, uh, you can put a rubber band around it to keep the cellophane from moving, but usually it'll kind of secure itself. And then take a pencil or a pen and make the holes. I like to make the holes a little big because it's easier for them to go into because you're dealing with a gnat. They're not very smart, so you want them to go in it. And then once they go in it, they can't figure out how to get out, and they go down into the apple cider vinegar that's at the bottom, and then they drown. So uh, there's one right here right now. They will, you know, eventually go into these, these traps. So what I do is I put one in each room, okay? Preferably where there's not a lot of traffic because every time you go by, you stir them up and they fly off. You want it to be, you know, kind of tucked away. Um, I put one like on the coffee bar. Oh, I have two on the table. I put one by the sink. I put one in the living room, put one in the bathroom because you're gonna have stragglers. And uh, so once you have those, those set out everywhere, you can really start to narrow the fight down on them. So a quick little trick, what I did, and I kind of figured this out when we were drinking wine and the infestation first started is every time I'd put my wine glass down, they would just jump on it. So I got all my traps out and they just kept coming to the wine. I couldn't even drink the glass of wine before one would land on top of it. So we were sitting in the dark. So a wine glass is very thin and tall. So they would go down in it trying to get to the wine at the bottom 
and all I had to do was put my hand over the top of it. Yeah, I got, they're in there. They're in there, Samantha. Got to at least. And I'd catch 50, 60 at a time. <laughs> Crazy, that's how bad it was. And then just walk outside, let them go, and then come back, set it back down, and they would come to it again. Now, don't use fancy wine. I had a little leftover in a cup, and I just sat it there. Fly far, far, far away. What I do is just when it would go in there, I just keep doing it. I did that probably five times and I narrowed a lot of gnats down real fast. But if you just repeat that process, you can get quite a few out of your life pretty fast. And meanwhile, your traps are catching them. More traps will just kind of like amplify how quick you can get rid of them. Here's one of the old traps that I made. I just used uh, an actual dish with cellophane over it. It worked really good because the surface was really wide. It's really not rocket science. You just gotta put them out and let them do the work. But the key is getting rid of the source of the problem. And that's any bad fruit or any vegetables you got laying around, any water, um, cause they'll just go straight to the water. They go straight to your trash can and uh, it's pretty hard to kill them. Uh, you know, like sometimes I'll like open the trash can, let them get in the trash can and then spray it with some raid or spray it with some kind of bug killer. And that'll kind of start to kill them, but you got to put a big dent in them as fast as you can. But once you put the traps out in a few nights, you'll have a lot of them and you'll have most of them out of your life. And they're pretty much gone now. There's one or two flying around. We'll get them in due time. But that's really it, guys. I wanted to just make this quick video to help the world know you can get rid of these guys in a short amount of time and they can get out of your life. Uh, you don't have to call an exterminator or incur any big cost. All you really need is a little plastic dish. You can use a Dixie cup. You can use just about any type of cup that'll hold some apple cider vinegar, a little bit of dish soap, and uh, anything that's fermenting will really catch them. You could put a piece of fruit in here and make them go in there, but the trick is you want them to drown. That way they all die. And you can see in the bottom here, we've got quite a bit. I don't know if you can see. We've got quite a bit in there. And they can get out of your life. And that's it, guys. I'll see you on the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment down below if you've got any tips and tricks for the world to know how to get rid of these out of their house. I'll see you guys later.